All right, I'm just going to demonstrate the pairing and unpairing process using the um, Home Trawler ZS2 controller. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing with most controllers and most devices. Sometimes it can be a bit uh, flaky, so the best thing to do was to unpair a device first. It may have been paired at the factory when they did their own testing or possibly uh, it was corrupted when you first tried to pair and it thinks it's paired but it doesn't show up. So what I always do, if I ever have any trouble, I just unpair a device first. So I have already paired our um, water shutoff device. This one happens to be mounted on a one inch uh, ball valve. This is a cool device that uh, is Z-Wave and pairs with uh, you know a dozen or so different Z-Wave type controllers out there. Um, but uh, and it doesn't require any plumbing. Plumbing, like you don't have to hire a plumber. So I'm just going to unpair it first. So hopefully you can see these menus. I'm just going to go to plugins, Z-Wave, controller management, and down to the second set of parameters and select actions, and uh, go to remove or exclude a node. And now it's waiting for me to hit the start button here. So I'm going to hit start and unpair this device by hitting my button four or five times quickly and you can see it's found it and it's unpaired it. Alright so we're gonna go back to home and just to remove remove the device completely I don't know what the, why it keeps this part here but I can just go over here and delete that altogether. Alright so now that device has gone all together and I'm just gonna go through the pairing process again and pair it. So we go to plugins, Z-Wave, controller management, go to the second uh, set of menus here, go down to actions, include, add slash include a node, it's waiting, me, waiting for me to hit start, I will hit start, push the button three or four times quickly, you can see it's a bunch of text there explaining the device type and the manufacturer, which of course is us, Econet controls, so now it's been paired. I'm going to go home. And there it is. You can see it's that third item there. So I can control it with the menus. Open and close. And there's also a, an app for the phone, which I think I have up and running here. Let's uh, go to it. So I'll just show you the app here on the phone and it should show up here once I do uh, an update uh, connect to home sphere here alright let's see if it shows up there alright there it is as a binary switch and I should be able to control it from here and there we go on and that's it and there's also a uh, an app, a separate app from Homeseer for the phone that's just for managing devices so you can add and remove devices so you could do it with your phone as well. And that's it.